are what chitlins and hog mogs look like, you guys. So this is a hog mog, okay? It's very thick. Let me show you. It's very, very thick. The lining of a pig stomach. And these are chitterlings or chitlins, okay? So I was in the process of cleaning this one. But I wanted to stop and show you guys because the way I have my camera set up, you guys really cannot see what I'm doing, but I will hold them up, okay? So let's get back to this. Okay, y'all. So I'm here cleaning chitlins. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit all notification bells. Give this video that good thumbs up and subscribe. I don't mind if you don't mind, okay? So, you guys, we are doing chitlins today. And um, I'm cleaning hog mugs. So I put some pink salt in here and everything. So I wanted to clean some... Um, some chitlins and stuff before, you know, I got on camera. So this is one that I've done. Let me show you guys. You should be able to see through that bad baby. Okay. That's a good, clean chitlin. Okay. <laughs> um, so this is, um, hog mugs. Oh, can you see it? Well, let's use this one. This is a hog mug, okay? So, what you basically, let me show you, okay. So it's just the lining of the pig stomach. So, this part, the fat part, you just, what I do is I cut away from it. So, I had cut, I had already started cutting this, but I was like, you know what, let me show y'all. So, I just cut it up to my desired pieces well bite size pieces okay uh oh so I just cut them up like that okay so this this is a hog mark let me show you guys. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So if you had scissors, this would go up a lot faster. And see, if you had scissors, you could just cut that part. But I don't know what happened to my scissors. So what I'm basically going to do is... Uh -uh. Cut that out because I'm not trying to do a whole lot of work. Boom. And it wasn't that much. And then if you can, you know, just pick off what what you can, okay? So you should have a hog mark that looks just like that. Okay. So like I said. So like I said, hope you guys can see. So you just want to cut them to your desire. Just little bite-sized pieces. Um, I'm definitely <laughs> going to do these off camera because it's a lot. So I have four five pound packs, five pound bags of chitterlings. Okay. So let's get one. These are um Aunt Bessie's. And I have to say, I really don't too much care. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I just wish they would have split it for me. But, so, you see this one? Okay, and you see this one now. Let me show you guys the one I did before. 
you can tell the difference. Okay. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay. So basically, you're looking for the little, the thin. This, this thin piece right here. Okay. And you're just going to, whichever way it go, you go. And then sometimes you got to kind of back up if you want to pull it off in a whole, um, if you want to pull it off whole or whatever. Okay. Try not to go too fast, you know. Just gonna kind of keep pulling. Just keep. Now, if you get a little problem like that. Just keep going. And then sometimes you can come back. And then you just have to come back. See that? That's a good chip one. <laughs> so I like to go over mine. You have to really, you know, look and go over them. And the ones in the bucket, you get like a lot of hay and poop. Ain't nobody got time for that. So like I said, the only thing is I wish these came pre-cut. So if somebody did a pre-cut chilling, <laughs> it'll make things a lot easier. So you guys, I will be back when I am done, okay? So if you have any questions, comments, or stuff like that, uh, <laughs> talk to me down in the comment section. So happy holidays, good eating. And all of that. Okay. I'm going to say this real quick. You can also feel the heaviness like on a um, chilling when you cleaning it. Like you could feel like it's heavy before you clean it. And then when you clean it, it be, when you take that lining off this here. Your chitlin becomes a little lighter. It becomes very, very light. It becomes real light. Okay, so I'm finna clean the sink out, throw this away, clean this stuff up, and then we'll be back to do the second and third wash. Okay, guys. So, we are back with the last few um, chitlins or whatnot. It is back breaking work, but it's well worth it. Okay. So, I want to show you guys. This is one that I'm getting ready to do. Okay, so what I like to do, I like to pull it like this, and if you pull it, you can see like the 
what part you're supposed to keep and what part you're not. Y'all can't see it. <laughs> but when I open it. Okay. So, the thin part, again, this is what you don't eat. This part is what we keep. Okay, so. And, um, Aunt Bessie, Aunt Bessie, Auntie Bessie, however you want to call her. <laughs> the chitlins, like I said, I, I like her chitlins because it's easier. You guys see what I'm doing? I'm just separating the lining from the edible part okay so this is the lining the thinner part and this is the chitlin the part that we eat um but Aunt Bessie's chitlins are clean because um of course you got to go through them and take away the lining but what I'm talking about is all of the hay and um poop or whatever else that's left in there is not on there so that's what they're talking about when they say you know clean and ready to eat chitlins but we still want to take this lining out okay and then you are left again with a clean pretty much see-through chitlin okay this is what you are left with now some people i have seen them just Leave them whole like this. I don't. If you clean your chitlins right, you should be able to do this. You should be able to tear it just like a rag. Okay, you should be able to just get in there. Uh oh, my fingers like just like that. Okay. So in here, um, I do have some hog mugs. I don't know. Yeah, you guys can see. Let me see. Pull up a better one. So after you clean them, that was just an extra piece of meat, but after you clean them and everything, the hog mugs, this is what they look like as well. Okay, so. Let's do one more. And sometimes you could get one that's like. <clears throat> so, yes, these are fresh, clean chitlins and um, hog mugs. water that's my second cleaning so my water is um, clear a little clear so I have them sit sitting in salt and baking soda so I'm just let them sit for a few minutes okay be back Okay, so my chitlins and hog mugs have been soaking for a while. Um, see my water. So I'm going to place them back in here and we're going to rinse the salt. And baking soda off of them.
Okay, so I'll be back. All right, y'all. So they have been soaking. All right, very clear, very clean. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, sip my um, chitlins in this um, sink. And then I'm just going to let all the water drain off of them, okay? Because when I bag them up, I don't want a lot of water to go. Um, and then when I stick them, finish cleaning uh, my chitlins. So... I want to show you guys a trick. Okay, so this is some fresh um, garlic that I chopped. So how are you going to get rid of the funky chitlin smell? You're going to get a little bit of soap and just a little bit of your garlic. Now rub it in. I know this sounds weird. You're not gonna smell like garlic. You're not. We should clean. Okay. So my son is videotaping this. Okay. Here's the true test. <laughs> How does my hand smell? Soap. You smell anything? Soap. Soap? Okay, so you guys try that trick and um, it works. I guarantee it works. Okay? All right, bye.